welcome to the Brighten Up Kids podcast. We create meditations and mindfulness content for children of all ages. I'm your host and friend, Nicole, and I'm here to help start off your week with positivity and confidence with a brand new positive affirmation. And if you want even more positive affirmations and mindfulness content, you can check out the rest of our YouTube channel, Brighten Up Kids, and our Brighten Up Kids Gratitude and Positivity Activity Journal, available on Amazon. So take a deep breath. And join me. I'm so happy you're here. Hello! And welcome back to a brand new episode of the Brighten Up Kids podcast. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. How have you been? How is your month going? Have you said any positive affirmations lately? Do you have any stories you want to tell me or questions you want to ask me? Tell me all about it. You and a grown-up can email me at brightenupkidspodcast at gmail.com and your email could be featured in a future episode. I just love hearing from you. Oh, also, if you're new here, hi, I'm Nicole. And on Mondays, I like to share a brand new positive affirmation to repeat throughout the week. I'm your positivity buddy. I'll be here to help you get excited and confident about the week ahead. And if you ever want even more positive affirmations and mindfulness content, you can check out our YouTube channel, Brighten Up Kids. You can even check out our new video versions of this podcast on our YouTube channel as well. So if you want to hang out with me and my adorable cat, Max, check out the podcast over there. I'm waving at you right now. Also, don't forget, we have an awesome activity journal, the Brighten Up Kids Gratitude and Positivity Activity Journal which has 100 colorful pages filled with prompts, feeling meters, and of course, positive affirmations. Available now on Amazon. All right, I think that's enough business. We've got to get started. Do you remember what a positive affirmation is? A positive affirmation is a little saying you can repeat to yourself to give yourself a boost of confidence and happy feelings. Pretty cool, right? You know I think so. Do you remember what this month's theme is for our positive affirmations? Back to School 2.0! Yep, that's right. It's our second annual Back to School Month. If you thought last year's positive affirmations were great, wait until you hear this year's. Do you know what can be super rewarding? Working hard. Think about it. Think about how great it feels when you work really hard on something. Like when you work really hard on a picture you're drawing. Or you work really hard solving a puzzle. When it's all finished, I bet it feels pretty amazing to see all of your hard work pay off. Even if something doesn't turn out perfect, you know you worked hard and tried your best. That's a great accomplishment. But also remember, some days we're able to work harder than others. And that's okay. That's why it's important to check in with yourself and make sure you're doing what's best for you and meet yourself where you are that day. The important thing is that you try your best. Oh, which reminds me, we've got to get started with saying this week's positive affirmation. Do you remember how we like to start saying our positive affirmations here on this podcast? Well, let's see. We've got to shake off any back-to-school, nervous, jittery, excited, maybe even sleepy feelings we might be having so we can really focus on our positive affirmations. Hmm, what's a great way to do that? Only a dance party, of course. Go ahead and jump up and down. Shake out your arms and legs. Spin in circles. Wiggle your toes. Just get your body moving. Go for it.
Wow, great job. You really put your all into that dance party. How do you feel? Check in with yourself. Did you shake off all those nervous, jittery, excited, sleepy feelings? Back to school time can sometimes bring up extra feelings. So how about one last really good shake? Go for it. Perfect. There's no way there are any more left now. Do you remember what we do next? Three deep breaths. Now that our body is nice and ready, it's time to get our minds nice and ready so we can really, really focus on our positive affirmations. Go ahead and sit or stand nice and tall. Roll your shoulders back so your chest is out and proud. And if you want to, go ahead and close your eyes. Now, slowly take a deep breath in through your nose. And gently breathe out through your mouth. Did you breathe deep down into your belly? Place your hands over your belly so you can feel how your belly fills up like a balloon when you breathe in and get smaller when you breathe out. Ready? Slow, deep breath in through your nose. And gently breathe out through your mouth. Great job! Did you feel your belly move? Let's try one more time. This time, try to breathe in even slower. I like to pretend I'm smelling something really yummy. Hmm, this time, I'm gonna pretend I'm smelling a delicious peanut butter and jelly sandwich. How about you? Ooh, good choice. Okay. One last slow, deep breath in through your nose like you're smelling something really delicious. And gently breathe out through your mouth. Great job. How do you feel? Check in with yourself again. Does your mind feel nice and clear and relaxed? If not, that's okay. Go ahead and take one more deep breath by yourself. Perfect. I think we're ready to say this week's positive affirmation. All right, let's do this. Okay, go ahead and make sure you're still sitting or standing nice and tall by rolling your shoulders back one more time. Now, either out loud or in your mind, repeat after me. I am going to work hard today. That's right. It's so rewarding to work really hard on something. Repeat after me again. I am going to work hard today. Absolutely! You are a hard worker and you always try your best. That's so cool! Repeat after me again. I am going to work hard today. Yeah, you are! Take a moment to think about how great it will feel when you get home knowing you worked so hard today. Maybe your hard work will help you learn how to solve a math problem or write a super fun story. Or maybe your hard work will help you learn how to spell a new word or draw a beautiful picture. Think about how rewarding that feels.
Now repeat after me one more time. I am going to work hard today. Awesome! Great job! How do you feel? Remember, anytime you need a little reminder to work hard, repeat this positive affirmation. I am going to work hard today. And see how you feel. Which brings us to our next segment. Do you know what time it is? It's time for the Pump Up Session. Yep, that's right. Now's the time to get super pumped and excited for your day with a few bonus positive affirmations because you're awesome and deserve to feel good about yourself. Repeat after me. Today is going to be a great day. I get to learn. I get to grow. I am smart. I am unique. I can't wait to start the day. Yes! Let's say that all again. This time, say it like you really mean it. Today is going to be a great day! I get to learn. I get to grow. I am smart. I am unique. I can't wait to start the day. Wow! That was incredible! You know what? I really believe you. Now give yourself a big hug! Because you deserve a hug from one of the most awesome people you know. You! Wow! I feel awesome! Do you feel awesome? Well, I'm ready to feel even more awesome because... <laughs> We're having a bit of a Max interruption. Max wanted to say hi. Hi, buddy. Love you. <laughs> okay, and we're back. And it's time to read one of your emails. Yay! <laughs> I just love reading your emails. Okay, this week's email is from Grace and Grace's dad. They write, Hello, Nicole. Hello. My name is Grace, and I'm eight. I went to horseback riding camp this summer and use positive affirmations to help me feel less nervous. Horses are really tall, and it was scary to climb up into the saddle. I said, I can do it, whenever I was nervous getting up on the horse. It really helped me. I love the podcast. I listen to it while I eat breakfast. Grace and Grace's dad. Wow, Grace, horseback riding camp. You are so brave, that's so cool. I'm so happy that positive affirmations helped you literally get back up on the horse. You should be really proud of yourself. It's not easy to do scary things. And you're right, horses are really tall. But I bet you had so much fun at camp. And I'm so happy to hear you enjoy the podcast. Thank you, Grace. That was really special. And also, a little shout out to your dad. Thank you for helping write the email. Remember, if you want your email read in a future episode, grab your favorite grown-up and email me at brightenupkidspodcast at gmail.com. Okay, well, I think we're almost finished. But first, let's finish off this episode with some happy, silly news. I'm going to tell you about a happy, silly news story to leave us on a heartwarming note. And keeping on theme with working hard, did you know that there is an adorable mouse who has been working very hard in a tool shed in Wales? This little mouse has been tidying up a messy shed every night. The owner of the shed noticed that his workspace would clean up overnight. So he decided to install a camera to figure out why. And it turns out, this little mouse was hiding his food under his tools. 
and was tidying up the tools to make sure that his food was nice and hidden and safe underneath. Pretty clever. I bet that little mouse is pretty proud of his hard work. Don't worry. I'll make sure to have the link to the video in the description. This story is from That Good News Girl on Instagram. I love her videos. She has so many happy, silly stories. All right. Well, I think that's everything. Come back next week for a brand new positive affirmation to repeat throughout the week. It's a really good one. Have an amazing week. And I'll see you next week. Bye for now. Thank you for watching the Brighten Up Kids podcast. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Feel free to check out the rest of our YouTube channel, Brighten Up Kids, for more mindfulness content. The Brighten Up Kids podcast is created by Nicole Leslie and Manon Vanderwee and is part of Brighten Up Kids, LLC.